CodeOcean is a computational science platform for life science R&D teams who want an efficient, collaborative, and traceable way to do computational research. This includes everything from managing your data and compute, to building and deploying pipelines, doing exploratory analysis or building no-code applications, and reproducing your results, as well as automatically generating result prominence. In this demo, we're going to take a quick look at all the core features and functionalities of CodeOcean. Let's start by looking at the platform's core technology, the Compute Capsule. We'll use this one as an example. The capsule consists of the key triplet of any computational experiment, the environment, the code, and the data. In a capsule, you can work with data of any size by attaching a data asset, which is read-only cloud storage mounted to your capsule. You can write code in any open source language and develop your code in your preferred IDE. When building your environment, you can start by selecting each starter environments, customize it further by adding packages to the appropriate package manager. In the background, CodeOcean is writing a Docker file for you. If you like to write your own Docker, you can always click unlock and edit it manually. The type of compute resource you're using, a CPU or GPU machine, it depends on the type of starter environment you choose. And you can adjust your resources by clicking select compute resource and choosing a CodeOcean managed and optimized flex resource. Or if you need something bigger, choosing a dedicated machine from a list of all of the EC2 instances in the region CodeOcean is deployed. When I want to develop my capsule, I can choose a cloud workstation where we have any of the commonly used IDEs available, as well as Ubuntu virtual machines and Shiny and Streamlit for deploying interactive web applications. Let's use JupyterLab as an example. Here we can use JupyterLab just like you're used to outside of CodeOcean. I can launch a notebook, edit any of my code, launch terminal and more. When I'm done working, I can shut the machine down, but if I forget, CodeOcean will automatically pause the session after two hours of inactivity. Once I've developed my code, I can also run my capsule reproducibly from end to end, from data to result, with no intervention from the user, by doing a reproducible run or a run with parameters. In the timeline, you can see all of my previous runs, as well as activity in the capsule, which is automatically tracked by Git. Finally, you can convert your capsule into a user-friendly application by creating an app panel, which allows the user to customize their execution without touching any code. Next, let's look at how you can parallelize the execution of your capsule by creating a pipeline. I can navigate to my pipeline dashboard and create a new pipeline from scratch or even import one directly from NFCore. In this case, we'll continue building this protein structure prediction pipeline. In CodeOcean, we provide a drag and drop interface that allows you to connect your capsule together, passing the output of one as input to the next. If I want to add a capsule, I open this add capsules menu, find the one I want to work with and simply drag and drop it onto the UI. If I want to pass the output of one capsule as input to the next, I click and drag. Similarly, passing the output of this capsule as input to the next, I can also easily mount my trained model to this capsule. And if I want to adjust the compute resources I'm allocating any capsule, I can do so here. CodeOcean uses NextFlow and AWS Batch to orchestrate and execute your pipeline, and your actions in this pipeline builder will write a NextFlow script for you. When you click Run, your pipeline will automatically run on AWS Batch using the resources you've allocated each capsule. You can share any capsule or pipeline by clicking share in the top right and typing in any user or group or setting the permission level for the whole organization. Similar to the capsule, in my pipeline timeline, I can see results from all previous runs as well as commit history tracking Git. Here we can see a data asset that I've created from a previous run. I can view that data asset here or navigate to my data dashboard which is where I can manage all the data assets that I have access to. If I want to create a data asset, I can create one from a variety of different sources. And if I want to find my data, I can search for it using metadata filters. This allows me to search by admin defined custom metadata keys, allowing search to be standardized across the organization. In this case, I can search for data assets that have been tagged with the species human. Here we can see the results data asset that I had created previously. I can open up this result, preview any of the files, and if I want to understand how I got the result, I can always look at the provenance section. This shows me the version of the code that was used to create it, a link to the capsule or pipeline that produced the result, links to any data assets that were attached at the time it was generated, and finally, the lineage graph, which we can use to get a visual representation of all the steps involved in producing our result. As your organization works in CodeOcean, you can really build out a library of scientific assets which can be organized into collections. At the collections dashboard, I can explore a curated set of the gold standard or template assets that my organization has put here. If 
I'm interested in pharma and biotech, I can navigate here and explore the subfolders or navigate it through this file tree. If I'm interested in genomics, I can open up this collection and view the capsules, pipelines, data, and no-code applications that my organization has made available to me. I can launch any of these capsules to reproduce the results or run it with my own input data. And similarly, I can launch any of these interactive no-code applications. Finally, we can navigate to the admin panel to see what tools an admin has to support users. There's the analytics dashboard, which can be used to monitor costs and usage. You can configure CodeOcean with your identity provider for SSO authentication and group management. Here's where you can define custom metadata keys and values for standardized search. Dedicated machines can be turned on and off for cost control. Starter environments can be deployed to get users started quickly with the tools they need and more. This is a quick walkthrough of the CodeOcean platform. If you'd like to learn more, please reach out for a demo. Thanks.